in your COVID team that they'll be able to vaccinate 50 million Americans in the first 100 days? I do. Uh, let me make a couple brief statements. Number one, um, my uh, number one priority is getting vaccine in people's arms like we just did today as rapidly as we can. And we're working on that program now. I'll be meeting uh, a Zoom call with my team a little later this afternoon, I have uh, and I put together, which I'll be announcing on <coughs> Thursday, laying out the plan, the cost of how I want to proceed, the cost of what we have to do to be able to get uh, the uh, the entire COVID uh, operation up and running. <coughs> Three to four thousand people a day dying is just beyond the pale. It's uh, it's it's just wrong, and we can do a lot to change it. Number one, it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy, but we can get it done. And secondly, wearing this mask, socially distancing, and making sure people are washing their hands on a regular basis is critically important. I was appalled when I saw, as a matter of fact, it was the distinguished congresswoman from the state of Delaware was when they showed the folks that were in, um, in, in hiding, in effect, from the mob. She was going around trying to hand out masks for everybody. And Republican colleagues wouldn't take the mask. <clears throat> I think it's irresponsible. And so we all have to make sure it's not a political issue. It's an issue of public safety. And it's going to get worse before it gets better in the meantime. And so uh, that's, uh, I'm confident we can get done what we have to get done. I've been speaking with some of my, or some of my uh, Republican colleagues about being able to move on a second package uh, sooner or later. But I'll be making further presentation to you all on Thursday of exactly how, I want, how much I'm looking for and the process by which we move. Sir, are you at all afraid of taking your oath outside, given no. what happened? I think it's critically important that there be a real serious focus on holding those folks who engage in sedition and threaten people's lives, deface public property, cause great damage, that they be held accountable. And uh, I think that's a view that is held by the vast majority of Democrats and Republicans in the Congress. Sir, are you worried that impeachment could potentially delay trying to pass the stimulus bill you're about to propose? Well, look, um, 